Warm welcome. This is our fourth event looking at raspberry antioxidant skin nectar. We're going to blend with you, spend time with you, answer questions as we go through. And wherever you're watching right now, if you could just um, give us a like and subscribe and also share, we would so appreciate that. It's um, a community effort to get the word out about using essential oils safely and effectively in all the beautiful ways to approach your aromatherapy journey. Well, as we dive into our recipe, we have an ounce of our red raspberry carrier oil. We have our red mandarin, and we also have our jasmine absolute, and this is sandbag. Now, there's substitutes for these. You can use um, a citrus oil that is not phototoxic because this also is a perfect blend for your face. Yes. So perhaps you, you can use green mandarin as well. You can use sweet orange. Um, there's, uh, you can use lime as long as it is steam not distilled. cold pressed. Make right. sure it's steam distilled if you're using it on your face. And for our jasmine sandbag, oh my goodness, this is a joy to use. If you haven't experienced it, you can get these in a five mil bottle as well. You don't even have to put essential oils into this blend. This blend, red raspberry on its own, is so nourishing for your skin. Now, if you don't have the jasmine or prefer a different oil, you can use lavender. Lavender, you want to use skin nourishing oils. You can do lavender, you can use patchouli. Mm -hmm. You want those soothing esters. You can do rose instead. Now back to our carrier, red raspberry seed. This can be substituted, of course. There's a lot of really great oils for your skin and especially your face. Argan is one, uh, rosehip oil, moringa, this is good for all skin types. If I had super oily skin, super acne skin, I might consider using cranberry instead of the red raspberry. So it's a lighter oil yet than the red raspberry. So we've got the cranberry, which is really light, the red raspberry, which is kind of a medium lightweight, and then the pomegranate is very, it's much thicker and it's very viscous. So I do use that, especially on spot treatments. Um, I've been trying these also out on dark spots that I get from sun, all these years of sun, um, doing that. And so pomegranate definitely has its place. And to add all three together, whoa, yes. Right? But the pomegranate would be too much for an acne prone skin, for sure. You can do avocado oil. Avocado oil works so good for more mature skin. It's super moisturizing. You can experiment with rosehip. Any carrier that you might have, even jojoba is so good for the skin. Some aren't the best for the face, but many, many are, especially the ones that we've talked about today. All right, let's make this blend. Let's make this blend. So our first thing we're going to do is put four drops of mandarin. Now this is only six drops, it's a 1% dilution. And the reason is, is because we're also using this on our face. It's a facial nectar. It's a nectar for special areas on your skin. Our fruit seed oils, like red raspberry, they're super skin rejuvenating mm -hmm. for many reasons. Yes. All right. Four drops of our mandarin. Oh, I love it. Mm. So it's just a bunch of sparkly sunshine in there for your nose. All right, four drops of our red mandarin. So, and then our jasmine sandback. There is other jasmine as well. Mm. Two drops of jasmine sandback. Now, oh, it's super so nice. concentrated, so you don't need any more than one or two drops. There we go. There we two go. exactly. And now we just kind of put the cap on and make sure that you blend these oils in well. And this carrier, it's so superb. If you haven't tried the fruit oils on your skin, they have a little bit of sun mitigation as well. Cranberry, raspberry, and pomegranate. Pomegranate is very viscous. Red raspberry is soaks right into your skin. It's good for both normal to dry, even oily skin because it helps to um, control the oil that we naturally have in our skin. It's controlling on that. So it is, Whatever you need, it helps your skin to be able to produce the right amounts. Yep, absolutely. Oh, so the shelf life of this blend, typically our fruit oils have a two-year shelf life. Yes. About, and I store them in um, an amber bottle 
like this normally. And I will also uh, keep them in a cool, dark location. Yes. Thank you so much for your yes. support for our RT Time events. Yes. They're a lot of fun and they're very informative. And if you would like to support our Tea Time efforts, we have a little uh, coffee cup oh, right yeah. below where you're watching. You can buy us a coffee or a tea and it just allows us to keep this a free public event. If you could click subscribe and like this video. It helps put the word on gorgeous aromatherapy blends out into the world. It does. Helps people see them. We are so grateful for each and every one of you and I can't, we can't wait to see you soon. All right, bye for now.